just picked up our 2021 Lund 1650 Rebel XL. Before we bought it, we looked on YouTube for some reviews and walkthroughs of the boat, and we've seen some reviews of the older ones, but not so much the newer ones. So we'll take a couple minutes and go through with you guys some of the features this boat has. Okay, the trailer comes equipped with the swing tongue. Makes it a lot easier to fit in a standard size garage. Lund added a raised Lund emblem on the trailer. Side steps over the wheel wells. This one came with the load guides, makes it easy to align the boat for loading. All LED lights. We have the bungees, ratchet straps, I guess, that stay on the trailer. Keep her locked down for loading. Super easy to use, makes it fast at the ramp. Lund went ahead and put on the mounting bracket for the transducer. So that's nice, they're not screwing the transducer through the transom at least. We added a transom saver. And I guess the most important part, we maxed the boat for max horsepower with the 90 Merc. Lots of power to move the boat around full, full of gear, two, three people. Shouldn't have any problem getting this boat up on plane. Another nice feature with the boat is they've gone away with the snaps that used to run along the boat to attach the cover. They've added these clips to the edge of the of the cover. And then if you look under here, there's an exterior track. Makes it real simple. Lock the cover on, which is nice, you know, and finish the day on the water. You can cover up quick, it's not, you're not fighting with straps and trying to stretch the, the cover out. It also has a few of these Velcro openings, so you, if you wanted to keep her covered up and still have her tied to your dock, or you have that option as well. On the port side, on the cover opening too, again, another cleat to tie off, but it also has your fuel which is nice, it's on the same side, driver's side of my vehicle, so it makes it a lot easier not swinging around the pump to fill up on both sides, so that's a plus. All right, so I'll go ahead and get the cover off. We'll jump inside and go over the storage and some of the rest of the features the boat has. Okay, so this is the 1650 Rebel XL. This is the sport model, just full windshield. So that's nice, you know, trying to get back when it starts raining or splashing from the water at least. My wife's protected over here too, so that's nice. This boat is 16 foot 7 inches, 85 inch beam, so nice stable body, right? I think the tow weight's only 1,805 pounds. So basically any small SUV can tow this thing around, so that's a nice, that's a nice feature as well. We'll start at the back here and then we'll make our way forward. This boat was a dealer order boat that we got so we didn't have any choice in how it came or but I mean overall we were happy with the options that were added. I'm not exactly sure what is a standard feature and what the dealer went ahead and offered so you'll have to look into that when you buy yours. So this boat does have the flipping back bench seats. If you want a couple extra passengers, the seats are available, couple cup holders. They snap down. And the whole bench here flips down. Gives you a pretty big casting platform at the back. So, you know, if there's only two of you in the boat, you may want to leave it this way. Makes it more fishable, I guess. There's another seat base at the back. This boat does come with three seats standard with pedestal seating. So you have an option to move a seat back here. There is one storage compartment back here. Has your cranking battery. It's 
And then on the other side, same size compartment. I mean, I'm sure you could fit some Plano 3700s or some safety gear, whatever you chose there. This boat also has a boarding ladder here. Just flips down, super easy to stow away. So that's a nice feature. If you wanted to stop and swim, you can get back in the boat, no problem. It also has this top here. Super easy to deploy. The rain starts or get out of the sun for a bit, just snaps into these holders here. And then obviously, folds over me here, snaps into these clips in the windshield. So you're closed in here, which is nice. It has a rod locker here on either side. This one we've just put all of our safety stuff in. I believe the both side rod lockers are seven foot six inches. So lots of room to get your rods in there. They are lockable. And of course the same side, same uh, idea on this side. Okay, so then this boat came with the stereo installed too. As I said, I'm not sure if that's a standard feature or not, but ours has it. So the two speakers are located at the back under the bent seat. There's two more seat pedestal back here, depending on how you want to configure your seats. Lund does give you some pretty good seats, you know, they're comfortable fold down spin the driver's seats on a slider so you know if you want to get a little more room to get in and out that's nice okay at the helm here you have your mercury gauges this boat has tilt steering which is nice the radio like i mentioned it does have a hummingbird helix 5 it's probably something i'm going to want to look into upgrading but it's good for navigation basic sonar all your switches across the panel here, your master power, navigation lights, aerator for the live well there, bilge pump, and accessory lights. They all have their own fuse, so super easy to, if you blow a fuse. Cup holder for the driver. There's also a cup holder here for the passenger. One thing Lund does on this boat, it gives a massive glove box, as you can see. I mean, I think you'd have to try pretty hard to fill that thing up. I can reach all the way in, almost up to my shoulder. There is a little bit of room under your, by your feet here. You want to shove a cooler or something. Big size live well on this boat. Little bait net. And there's a cutout for a bait bucket if you wanted to use that. So big size live well. All right, so this compartment holds your trolling motor battery. It has a two bank charger in here. I'm not sure, you may be able to move that battery tray, flip it the other way, fit two batteries in there, but it'd be pretty tight. And this other compartment up here, there is a cutout, so this is probably where I'm going to end up mounting my other battery. If you wanted to go to a 24-volt 24, uh, 24 system, you just run the wire through there, no problem. Both of these compartments are large and they are passed through, so there's tons of storage up at the, up at the bow here. It passes all the way through, so lots of room. Also came with a 55-pound thrust. Main coat of power drive. Your trolling motor will plug in right there. Little pocket at the front for the foot pedal and wiring if you want to keep it away. If not, if you go with the iPilot and you have the remote control, I mean, you could use this for storage for tackle boxes or whatever you wanted as well. All right, another feature on this boat is the Lund Sports Track. So there's a track running all around the boat here, right? 
you can see it everywhere. I went ahead and picked up a set of these, they're fender hangers. They fit great into the Lund Sports Track. So you just put it in, click it locked, hang your fender over the side and keep from bumping and scratching the docks or when you stop to fuel up. Nice thing about the Lund Sports Track, that it's easy to slide anywhere you want. You mount your uh, rod holders, Lund has lots of different accessories to hang off that sports track. All right, this boat too has the vinyl floor throughout the boat. So most surfaces are the vinyl. Some people say it gets hot, you know. If you have flip flops on, I'm sure it's not gonna be an issue. There is carpet on a lot of the vertical pieces around the boat, but basically everything you're standing on is the vinyl. Super easy to clean up. You get home, you just spray it with the hose or the pressure washer. All right, so that's our walkthrough on the 2021 Lund Rebel XL. This is the sport version. It's also available in a tiller option and then a side console. Uh, we're gonna start breaking in the motor pretty soon. We should be able to get out on the lake here in Ontario. So maybe we'll bring you guys along for that. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about the Rebel, leave a comment and I'll make sure I get back to you.